Hey everyone, welcome back to Mike's Monsters. Today, I'm excited to talk about my time at Son of Monster Palooza on October 11th, 2024, that recently just happened this past weekend. This is always one of my favorite events of the year, but I mean, it's actually one of those I get to do twice because Monster Palooza happens in the summertime and Son of Monster Palooza happens in the fall, and I think that's pretty awesome that I get to experience this event twice in one year in two different sizes. So if you've been to the main Monster Palooza event earlier in the year, Son of Monster Palooza is kind of like the little baby child of the monster show. But don't let the size fool you. The quality of vendors, displays, and everything else is still top notch. I love to walk the floor and take in all the incredible work from the talented makeup artists and effect teams creating some wild creatures right in front of your eyes to vendors selling some seriously cool merch, vintage pieces, and handmade pieces that are just awesome to look at. Immediately upon entering Son of Monster Palooza, you are often greeted with an awesome display by Quantum Effects, and this year their Rancor was front and center. One thing I really love about Son of Monster Palooza is that it's a much more laid back show compared to the main event in the summertime. The Friday crowd is much smaller, which makes it easier to stroll around and see everything, check out the displays, and connect with new and familiar faces. It's like a reunion of monster loving friends, and it's got a really awesome vibe that makes it so special. You can just chat with people, nerd out about monsters and horror, and not feel rushed. Now, while I didn't get to see Bruce Campbell, who I would have just loved to see, he was the headliner this year, but only attending Saturday and Sunday. I did see a bunch of the other cool celebs hanging around their boots, like Dana DiLorenzo and Ray Santiago from Ash vs. Evil Dead, which is a series I love, and I'm just a big fan of the Evil Dead series. Kevin Durand, the Proximus Caesar from Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, was there as well. And a bunch of other celebrities were just walking around the floor. Like, hey, there's Eli Roth walking in front of my camera. You never know who you're going to run into at these shows. And let's talk about the incredible cosplay. 
I always love seeing what people come up with for their costumes. My favorite cosplay from Friday night had to be the Bob from Beetlejuice. But even he had to stop and take some snaps of some of the other incredible cosplays. On top of that, the professional makeup and effects artists were on the floor creating some gnarly creatures and monsters live right in front of us. And that is just such a cool thing to see with your own eyes. It's one of those things you just have to see to appreciate. And the skill and creativity on these things is just insane. It's always just awesome to see this stuff. This was a nice and short little video. I didn't get a ton of footage, but I just wanted to give a big shout out to the Monster Palooza team for inviting me and Chelsea out to experience the Friday night show of Son of Monster Palooza. I'm always grateful for the opportunity to come by, and as always, it did not disappoint. The atmosphere, the people, and the monster goodness all around, it's just the best. I'm always, always, always looking forward to the next one, and I'll see you guys next summer. Hopefully one day, I'll have a table there displaying my artwork for everybody to see. Check out my social media like Instagram to see more photos of my walk around the convention floor, which are all linked below. Stay tuned for more fun and monstrous videos in the future and subscribe to stay up to date. Thank you so much for watching Mike's Monsters. I really appreciate having you here and I hope you have a great rest of your day.